I think we should let go of this 4300 graphic card. I mean, come on, that's just too much. Let it go, let it go. Really? Can't hold it back anymore. Well, really, what? Hey guys, this is Quartz from Will It Tech, and today I'm joined with my friend Max over from Max Play. It is a great channel, you should go check it out. And in this video, I'm going to be helping him build his own gaming PC. Well, not physically build it, but I'm going to get out all the parts and just pick the parts out for him that he would want, and then probably build it later sometime. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're on PC Parts Picker now. Um, where you can like choose parts and see if they like link in the description yeah link in the description although it's just pcpartpicker.com so yeah let's start a system build here and first off what kind of computer do you want uh, I would like a CPU cooler the, the what kind of like computer like oh gaming how, yeah. how, like how much how much money are you looking to spend under seven hundred dollars. Okay, under seven hundred dollars. So then we're probably gonna be going with like an AMD CPU, probably like an Athlon X4 or something. So actually, we could go with like the AMD FX sixty four. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that one. At the FX, okay. So yeah. for under seven hundred dollars. Hey, there's the Intel Pentium. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, he's looking. You can see my screen. You do. You do not. You don't. Do not want to go with an Intel Pentium. So how about since. We have a lot of money to spend under 700. We could probably go with something like an FX8320, which is 100, $137. So but let's go with that. AMD FX8320. So, a 8 core processor, it's clocked at what? 3.5 gigahertz. And it has no integrated graphics. Okay, we're going to be getting a, um, a graphics card. Okay. Now, let's, let's pick out a CPU cooler. This is not my strong suit when it comes to CPU coolers. I usually have another person choose them for me. But, um. Okay, let's see. We don't need that. Cooler Master Hyper. Hyper. Hyper TX3. Let's, let's go with this one. The Cooler Master Hyper TX3. Yeah, sure. Okay. So. I mean, for like. The, for the FX8320, you don't need that good of one. Okay, motherboard time. Are you, do you prefer Asus or MSI? Asus. It's, it's Asus. I say Asus. Okay, well, that, yeah, it's not right. Okay, so here's an, the Asus M5A78L that comes with the uh, USB 3. It has USB 3.0. So that's $44. I think we should go with this one, or maybe we could go up a bit higher for the this one. Although that only supports USB 2.0. That's weird. Okay. So what I'm saying here is that $700 to spend. Is, uh, it's still a lot of money. I would prefer to be, you know, even under six hundred. But if if it has to be to seven hundred dollars, then okay. So maybe we go with like the MS, something like an MSI. I mean, I usually go with MSIs for my All builds. Right. Let's see how much support USB three point on board video crossfire. Okay. This one. Do you mind if it has uh, USB three point no, it okay, so let's add this one. Uh, they just completely up updated uh, PC part figure, so all the controls are a bit different. Okay, so now on for the RAM. So how much you want? Like, I think you should go with eight gigabytes. So probably either Corsair Vengeance, which I would pro I wouldn't go with. Yeah, that. I'm not going with the. I think I'm gonna go with the Ripjet uh, series. Crucial Ballistic Sports, not bad. Oh dang, yeah. The Crucial Ballistic Sport right here, that's sixty. Yeah. That's sixty-one dollars. That's pretty good. I mean, eight gigabytes. I think I'm pretty sure that's DDR3. Yeah, DDR3, sixteen hundred. Okay. So, do you want an SSD or a hard drive? A uh, hard drive. Okay, hard drive. So let's go like a Seagate. How much is this? Three terabyte. One terabyte should be enough. If I get the Western Digital uh, WD. Well, you can you can get a, a one better for less than the Western Digital. I mean, we could go with something like uh, where's the Hitachi? Like a Hitachi Ultra Star or something for one terabyte. Where is it? Seagate Hybrid Four Terabyte. 
second. Try to find. It's a six terabyte one. Dang. Yeah. Nobody needs six terabytes of space. Well, the one in my ten thousand dollar PC filled has eight terabytes plus two SSDs, so that's a total of nine terabytes of space. Let's see. Uh... Here, we have Western Digital Caviar Blue, one terabyte, that's, uh, $50. One terabyte, totally yeah. enough. Yeah, speed of 7200 RPM, so it's pretty fast. Okay, we'll add this one. Next, we get to choose the graphics card. So, um, probably for you, go with, like, a Sapphire Radeon R8 or something. Yeah, I just kind of play mainly, I mean, I have a lot of FPS games. Um... So what? yeah, so probably something like a Sapphire Radeon Tri X. That was pretty expensive for seven hundred twenty dollars. What, what about the uh, Sapphire Radeon R nine two eighty? Uh, how about we go with the Sapphire uh, Radeon it's Dual? The third one. Go to dual, the, third. the Dual X R nine two seventy. That's one hundred forty seven. That has two gigs of video RAM, which is pretty good. Oh yeah. Okay. And dual access might support crossfire one second. Will it? Uh yeah, it does. How many it only has one HDMI port though, right? Well, if you want to get another one you could have yeah. cross. Yeah. Okay, so for the case, what do you want? This is my favorite part. Do you want like something that looks cool or, or what? Um because the, the Corsair Spec O one is probably my favorite. It's thirty four dollars, you wanna see it? Yeah. Okay. This thing is really cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, I kind of want something that's kind of space compatible though. This is. It's small. Oh, it is. It's like a mid tower ATX. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a mid tower ATX. So, this is the one I was gonna go with for my gaming PC build that I'm gonna get eventually, but uh, it was too small because I'm using a bunch of parts and graphics cards and stuff. Yeah, that that should be fine. Yeah, for a mid tower, I mean, you don't need anything like yeah. a full ATX or anything. No, I don't. And power supply, let's see, how much we, should we go for with this? Like 400 watt? Or, I guess it's saying more. You could go with like a Corsair. 430 watt. 430. You might want to go with something a little bit more than that. Just. Uh, what about the 500? Um... Uh, we could, yeah, the Corsair CX. 500, it's yeah. 500 watts, 80 plus bronze certified, it's semi-module, do you want for, full module? Uh, no, semi-module should be fine. Wait, do you even know what that is? No, but... Yeah, well full module means you can remove <laughs> all the cords and take out the ones uh, that you don't use. Oh. I mean, semi-module is you can take out the ones that you wouldn't... Know. Let's go with the semi-module one for you. Yeah, I mean, I probably won't be taking out any cords once I have it in one spot, so... Okay, so now, uh... All we need, we're at $578, and all we need is the operating system and the optical drive, so that's pretty good. Okay, optical drive, probably just like the LG GH something. Um, where is it? LG, what about Ace, Asus? No, dude, you don't even need anything fancy, just like an LG GH. No, it's, like, it's 17 bucks at the top. No, well, it's 14. 14 something, okay. LG GH. Or GH. Here, fourteen ninety nine. The GH twenty four NSCO. Okay. I mean, you don't want Blu Ray, do you? No, I don't want okay. Blu Ray. So, I have it. Actually, I actually have an optical drive. Wait for a uh, computer. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We let's just get the new one. Okay. And okay. operating system time: Windows, Windows eight or seven. Windows eight point one. Windows eight point one. Okay. Um. Here. And now the PC is done, and it is six hundred eighty dollars. Okay. So yeah. Um. Wait. One second. Okay. Um. That should be fine. I don't care about the USB. Well. Okay. So the the the. the uh, the CPU may need a BIOS update, um, which I know a guy who can do that, or I can try that. But um, but yeah, everything seems to be compatible, and with mail and rebates and all that, it's six hundred eighty dollars and eighty one cents. Can so, I name it? Can I name it? 
Uh, sure. I want to name it Crouton. Okay, Crouton the PC is done. I'll send you the link when we're done with the video. So yeah, guys, this has been, um, what was it? Building a PC, uh, from start to mid or whatever. I don't With know. friends or subscribers or whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't know, yeah. We'll think of it. We'll think of the name. So yeah, as always, Monument Squad, be sure to subscribe to Willitech and also head over to Max's channel at Max Place and subscribe to him too. Alright, okay. peace. Yeah, bye guys.